So folks, Prince Harry released a new book called Spare. The book has sold over 1.4 million copies in US, Canada, and UK on its first day. A brief summary being, Prince Harry is deeply honest and intimate memoir of his life, his struggles, and his journey towards finding purpose and duty in the royal family. And well, John Lennon's biological son, Sean Lennon, had a little something to say about this memoir after reading it. Sean took to Twitter saying, my long awaited review of Prince Harry's autobiography is two words, spare me. A little bit of a pun based off of the title of the book, going into the fact that Prince Harry maybe bitched a little bit too much in his book for the position he's in. One user replied saying, sorry you feel that way. I thought it was a view into what happened to him. I think it takes courage to put your story out there for others to see. Sean replying saying, the Todger story certainly took some courage. Wow, uh, taking some digs at back in 2011, Prince Harry went on this trip to the North Pole where he walked 200 miles in the Arctic, ending up with some serious serious frostbite on his hands, feet, and his todger. If you guys are confused what a todger is, it's actually a, <laughs> a P to the Niss. YouTube, leave me the f alone, okay? A user replying to that saying, waiting for your bestseller. My life is a nobody. I'll even supply the crayons. <laughs> Sean replying saying, you seem upset. Another user saying, says the guy who based his whole life on his father's success. Sean replying saying, yes, but at least I don't have a shriveled old uterus and the personality of used toilet tissue. Damn. Another user saying, you are entitled to your opinion, but the fact is, he's a bestseller in the year of 2023, while well, you have not sold anything close to that. Sean replying saying, I mean, I don't care, but I did win an Oscar this year, so I think I'm doing okay. And the Oscar goes to, war is over, inspired by the music of John. <laughs> That's right, folks. Sean Lennon did win an Oscar for the short film The War Is Over. This independent animated short film directed by Dave Mullins, featuring music from John Lennon and Yoko Ono, and Sean Lennon was one of the writers. And I mean, yes, Sean owes most of his success to the fact that he was born into fame with his father being John Lennon and his mother being Yoko Ono. But I mean, a summary of his success being in bands like Sibo Mato, The Ghost of a Sabertooth Tiger, The Clay Pooled Lennon Delirium, and his parents' group Plastic Ono Band, also having solo albums, Into the Sun and Friendly Fire. Sean continued on Twitter by saying, people are coming after me because I made a joke about the title of Harry's book. It's pretty great. And he goes on a bit of a Twitter rant talking about wokeism is not a religion. It's a full blown cult. I'm starting to realize we have to treat its members as victims of manipulation, indoctrination and abuse. Also saying people are always shocked when I insult them after they insult my parents. On what planet does that make any sense? The prefrontal cortex is weak with these people. He also clarifies by saying, I do empathize with them generally, but the way he whines and wangs about things is really too much. I'm just having a little fun. I think he's earned some mockery. I'm sure I have as well. And I mean, Prince Harry and Meghan have been mocked a lot. Even through an episode on South Park where they're protesting about wanting their privacy while also being on all these talk shows and promoting themselves. So let me start with you, Sam. You've lived a life with the royal family. You've had everything handed to you, but you say your life has been hard. And now you've written all about it in your new book, Where? Yes, that's right, friend. You see, my wife and I, I are totally like you should write a book because your family like stupid and then so are like journalists. Obviously, being born into the royal family, the public eye is going to be on you. They both stated that they want to seek privacy out of the public eye while also doing every single thing you could be doing to be in the public freaking eye. Netflix documentaries, Mansion in L.A., Harry and Meghan book, <laughs> Meghan Spotify podcast, red carpets, more red carpets. I have to kind of take Sean's side here. It is kind of silly to be so rich and have everything handed to you, but also being like, woe is me. Read my book while I complain about how hard things are. I guess at the end of the day, it's kind of like TLC for the average person who wants to read into somebody who lived a cool life. And for some reason that comes with people empathizing with their struggles. And some of us are out here just getting by, you know? Uh, if you get your kicks out of hearing a rich guy complain about his life, totally up to you. But I'd also like to know your guys' opinion. Let me know in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching and you guys know the drill ta-ta for now really?